Tyreek Hill is one of the fastest, if not the fastest player in the NFL, and he has the ability to open up everything in the Kansas City offense. When Hill broke his collarbone early in the season, the Chiefs averaged 5 points less per game and their rushing average dropped from 103 yards per game to 83 yards. With Hill's speed and big play capabilities, he forces defenses to stay out of the box in the run game and often demands double teams. The Chiefs use him in RPOs to hold safeties and linebackers, run him deep to clear out route space underneath for Kelsey and other receivers, and use his speed in the running game to attack the edge and force defenses to flow and over pursue. Despite missing four games with the collarbone injury and the majority of a fifth game with a hamstring pull, Hill still accounted for 58 receptions, 860 yards, and seven receiving touchdowns. Andy Reid uses Tyreek Hill to help create explosive plays, open up the run game, and allow the rest of the offense to operate with more space. We'll start by looking at how Reid uses Tyreek to open up the run game. Tyreek's ability to break open a game is respected by every defense he plays against, and as a result, he often demands double teams or extra attention. Here's a simple RPO with a bubble concept off of a short motion while running outside zone the other way. The scheme's job is to take away the man advantage of the defense and create even numbers for the offense. When you add motions and RPO reads, you can force the defense to lose their man advantage and key off of one defender to restore the advantage to the offense. You can see four separate defenders all take steps towards Hill's direction with a fifth read player unblocked. That leaves neutral numbers for the offense to the side of the run, meaning they have every single player blocked up except for the free safety. This gives the man advantage back to the offense on the run with linebackers and safeties now out of position to offer help. Here's another bubble with Tyreek Hill out of a stacked trips formation tight to the ball. This bubble action takes four defenders out of the play and allows for more space in the run game. This is a big reason why the run game started to hurt when Hill went out. Without that threat of speed, the defense dedicates less people to stopping the pass option of the RPO, and it's more difficult to restore the man advantage to the offense. These RPOs are a staple of the Chiefs' run game and consistently take away safeties and apex defenders who would normally help in run support. As soon as these players start to crash on the run instead of guarding the pass, Mahomes would pull the ball and throw these bubbles or slants instead of handing it off. Theoretically, the defense just can't be right, and the offense gains a man advantage either way. The Chiefs love to use Tyreek Hill on jet motions or orbit motions to pull defenders out of position in the run game. With his speed, defenses have to honor the threat of the outside run because if they don't, he can turn the corner and get huge gains. Now when they step the wrong way, it allows linemen to get up to the second level and wall off linebackers. This motion forces defenders to wait and diagnose, move out of position, or fill in correctly. It also sets them up for play action screens or the eventual give to Hill once they stop flowing with the outside run. Actually giving the handoff is pretty rare, but when Hill gets the jet sweep, he often wins the edge for decent yardage. If linebackers hesitate for even a second or a corner shoots inside, Hill is just too fast to catch up to. Reed loves to run these sweeps and run plays from tight condensed formations, which forces the defense to stack the box and allows more space on the edges. Especially in goal line situations when you're more likely to get man coverage, the give on the jet sweep can be extremely effective. Reed isn't afraid to take a page out of another coach's book either. This play is very similar to the one that the 49ers ran with Debo for a touchdown against Seattle late in the regular season. While there are some minor differences up front with the blocking scheme, it has all the staples of what Reed loves most. A tight formation to get the defense condensed, some misdirection, and he gets his player the ball in space. The H is coming across the formation to make it look more like split zone, but instead he leaks out to lead block for the give on the orb of motion to Hill. This helps seal the edge and get Hill up the sideline. Now that we've established how Hill impacts the run game of the Chiefs and opens up lanes, let's take a look at his impact on the passing game. While incomplete, you can see here how much attention Hill demands. The Bears are bracketing Hill inside and out in a Tampa 2 coverage. Tampa 2 is the same as a regular cover 2 look except for the linebacker is dropping deep middle. That then opens up space in the intermediate middle and Hill's clear out is able to take the deep defenders away from the sideline in the middle of the field which opens up the fade on the sideline and Kelsey over the middle. If Mahomes is able to drive the ball on a line to the fade down the sideline or check it down to Kelsey in the middle of the field, there's a ton of space to work with because Hill has pulled three defenders with him in coverage. The speed of the Chiefs receiving core allows space underneath to open up. By running them deep, there's a huge hole left underneath for Kelsey to exploit man coverage because defenses are forced to prevent the big play and have to respect the speed of the Chiefs and carry them downfield. Since Hill is relatively small, he can have trouble with jams or physical corners. But if you miss that jam, it can be very difficult to recover. As a result, the Chiefs will often use him in stacked formations or motion him into plays to allow him to get a clean release. As soon as you don't respect his speed or allow him to run free, you're in trouble as a defender, especially if you have no safety over the top to help. K-1 
Kansas City will also create some rub routes for Hill to force defenders to either flow with him or transfer him off in zones, which can be very difficult with someone of his speed. If he gets matched up with a linebacker, there's no way they can keep up with him in the open field. The Chiefs run Hill on these rubs or horizontal shallow drags a lot and allow him to use his speed across the field horizontally instead of vertically. This also tends to pull defenders down and can allow space behind him to open up. A common coverage to combat these shallow drags is to have a jump call and rotate safeties on diagnosis with the play side safety coming down to attack the shallow and the backside safety rotating back to help deep middle. That's what's happening here with a number three slot defender over Hill trying to rotate back but not getting enough depth. The corner that would normally carry the number two slot receiver at the top of the screen falls down and with the jump call and nobody deep middle, the middle of the field is wide open for a touchdown. And all of this is made possible by the threat of Tyreek Hill underneath. While Hill may not be touching the ball in every play, he is making an impact regardless. He's pulling defenders out of the run game, clearing out space for routes underneath, forcing defenses to adjust and defend his motions, and if they take one false step, Mahomes is good enough to find Hill on a deep shot to change the game. Andy Reid uses him perfectly to open up the whole offense, and while he already helped get them one Super Bowl, another one might be on the way. If you liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps a lot as the channel is growing. Comment what player or team you'd like me to analyze next as well. Make sure to go check out weeklyspiral.com for a written form of this video and see everything I'm working on. You can find our Patreon and social handles in the description of the video as well. So until next time, I'm Casey Sully, and I'll see you on the next Film Breakdown.